Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for joining me. I hope you like this content. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a plan with me for the week of April 22nd to the 28th in my classic vertical happy planner that I use as a creative journal and we'll be using the Fresh Botanical sticker book by the Happy Planner. So let's get started. Okay, I've gone ahead, I've pulled up my pages for this week. Let's jump in. Now I've got an idea, um, I just filmed my flip through actually, of the my, a couple of new sticker books, and I had a really different idea. This might turn out really cool and it might be really bad, but we're gonna try this. So I've got this sheet of washi stickers here and I'm going to go ahead, so this is a shorter one, and I'm going to pull it, pull them off and I'm just going to start sticking them down, okay? And they're going to be different lengths, that's fine. I should actually go across... Hold on, I'm going to pull this first one that I placed, I'm going to pull this one up because I want to go in order so we can kind of keep the picture. Okay, so we're going to start with this side, this one here. Okay, and then I'm going to take the next one. Which will be even longer. We'll take the next one. I just wanted to do something a little different and fun for this week. I've never tried anything like this. I don't know how it will look. I don't know if it'll turn out. I don't know if I'll hate it, but we're gonna have some fun. I think that our planners, especially if we have a creative journal, that is the place to experiment with fun ideas and different ideas. Okay, let's see. Now the way this is going, a lot of the Actually, all of the shorter strips are going to be on the next page, but that's okay because I'll put in some double boxes and stuff. So now we're going to take this first one that I had pulled off. And I, what I might do is I might switch out a couple of them. Oh, these ones will be different. Hang on, hang on. I've got an idea. So for these ones, instead of coming off of the top, I'm gonna to have them come off of the bottom because these ones, the picture will be more on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna switch this up here. See, and like this one here is by no means perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect. The washi strip stickers are something that I don't often find myself using or gravitating towards. So 
There we go. Okay. And we'll balance it out a bit. Now what I can do as well, if I don't want all of these to necessarily, um, I already don't like it. <laughs> That's fine. We're going to keep going. I'm not taking it down. I'm not taking it apart. We're going to keep going. We are going to work with it and we're going to see what we can do. So I'm going to bring in some double box stickers first. And this one really is going to speak to this week um, because it says seek beauty in all things. So as I just said, I already don't like the look of this. This is something to really um, follow through or to listen to. And I actually just had an idea. So I'm going to try to pull this back up without ruining the stickers underneath because I did just have an idea. So if I lift this back up, Just like that, and I grab my craft knife, and if I cut this one there, there, and there, and we pull these up, do you have some tweezers here? So that'll be one. Let's see here. Two. And this one. Oops. Maybe not this one. down it's a little bit wrinkled now let's try to get this down smoother so then these stickers here so this one Follows up here. This one continues off of this up here. And this one continues off of this last one right there. Okay. And I think that kind of balances it a little bit better. Keep going here and then I want to balance the pink with something over on the other side as well and I think I want to take this be bravely you and maybe stick this one here okay like that okay we're gonna to go to the beginning of the book now let's have a look we already have Seek Beauty and all things, so we're not going to use that again. We have some of these black florals. Might I might pull some of these in. Okay, here we've got some box stickers. Good. Let's see. Some other stickers here. We can start doing some layering, which would be nice. A little box sticker down here. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I want to bring in a bit of the gold over here. As well as the green. Okay. Maybe a little bit of the gold over here as well. Okay. 
Let's keep looking. These are some of the monthly boxes here. Take note stickers. I've got a lot of those. I might throw some of these in as well. I'm gonna throw one of them in here. Put one of them in here. Maybe one more. One of the yellow. This one might come in handy down here. Okay, let's keep going. I like this one here that says happy little note. I might just place this right here. Okay, and then here we have some of these. I may bring this bigger one in here. If I do that, I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to trim these. this put down first okay and then I may have some of this Oops. don't stick it all the way down I'm just trying to eyeball this a bit so that we can have it coming down right in about the same spot like that Okay, and then this piece here, I may just happen to follow this up here like that. And then I want to bring one of these in over to this side, just deciding on a color. I might bring in this color here. And we'll throw this one right about there. Okay, let's keep looking. Still not sure that I'm liking this. However, we're going to roll with it. I'm going to take Live Life in Full Bloom. And we are going to put this down right here. Hmm. Let's see now. Not really feeling that there. If 
I may end up putting this sticker back if I'm not feeling it. I think that kind of helps fill that spacing in a bit because it just felt really empty. Let's see now. Okay, and then we can pull in some of this purple with a top three. up the top of this clear quote just so it can go over the bottom of the box instead like that okay I don't know if I would ever do that washi strip stripe thing again um, I'm not not loving it however sometimes we just have to try different things and if we don't try we won't know So that's where I'm going with. <laughs> Just gonna put a few of these little circles in here and there. No, not the not the green one there. I think for there I might do the peach. And the green one I might even put in just down there. Okay. Right there. Okay, let's look. pop in one more of these double boxes up here that might just be a bit much let's see if I have that in yeah that would be a bit much some bigger circles I could do do that where I bring in one of these kind of in here and then this dark coral color one can come in like this over here okay it kind of looks a little bit like a hot mess not gonna lie it kind of looks like a hot mess but we shall see I'm going to bring in my line stencil here and we are going to put in some lines and see how that makes us feel not heavy lines, so I'm just going to take my Sharpie S gel pen and I'm just going to put in some lines here. And I am going to do my best to line these up so that I can continue them all the way across. Okay, let's see how that looks. Hopefully not too bad. 
And then I think I'll put some in down here as well. Okay, just a few down there. It is a crazy busy spread, y'all, but that's what happens. That's where where this one went. Um, I think once it's filled in, it'll be better. I definitely won't try doing the washi strips in behind again. Um, but we, ne we never know. Unless you play with it and try, you don't know how it's going to go. So this one, meh, not my favorite, but it'll do. It's only one week. Let's pop it on the discs. All right, you guys, there we have it. That is my spread for this week. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm not really feeling it, but it is what it is. I'll use it for the week and carry on. Uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.